All right, so far in this video creation tutorial that we've been doing, we've got a ship that flies around with the directional arrow tools. It shoots these little flying purple octopi, and when we run into them, we die, and it takes one of our lives, and after three lives, we get a game over sign. So it's pretty cool so far, but we don't have any sound. So in this part of the tutorial, we're gonna be adding some sound. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some sound that I made in another program, and I'm just going to have it loop in the background during the course of a person playing the game. So the first thing we need to do is go find the sound. So I'm gonna go to File, Import, Import to Library, and here's my sound right here. So I'll just double click on that and bring it into the library. We don't need to rename it or anything because we're not gonna be doing any coding associated with it. We want to click and drag it to the stage, but before we do that, we're gonna make a new layer for it and I'm going to name this sounds. In case we need to go back and edit any of the sounds, we know where they are. I'm gonna make sure that first keyframe is selected, and then I'm gonna pull my song to the stage. Now, if we were to quick export this now, the song would play one time and then it would stop, which is no good, because hopefully we'll live longer than that on our game, so we want it to loop. Now, in order to make that song loop, we're gonna go up to the keyframe that we placed it on in the timeline, and we're gonna open up the properties for that keyframe. I don't see properties anywhere on my stage, so I'll go up here to Window and select Properties, and here's the properties for this particular frame. You can see that the sound that we put on there is already ascribed to it. Now, uh, we don't wanna sync the event with anything, so we just wanna, well, actually we want the, the event on that frame to loop, so that's our song. So we're going to loop that instead of just repeat once. Now when we play the music, it will loop. And just real quickly. Okay, so it works. Now what we need to do is add some sound to the rockets that we are shooting out of our plane. Now I've already opened up um, a library that's within Flash already. It's under Common Libraries, but let me close this and show you where to find it. If you go up to Window, you can scroll down to common libraries and then there you have sounds. And there's a variety of different sounds that are already in Flash. Uh, some of them are kind of weird. And there's a broom sweeping the ground. Some of them are actually pretty interesting and useful and we're going to use one of these sounds for this. Um, I'm going to try to find it. I may have found it. Nope, that's not the right sound. Maybe this one. That kind of sounds a little bit like a rocket shooting out from the playing, so we're gonna use this sound. Now, instead of dragging this sound to the stage, instead we need to drag it all the way over here to our library, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and grab it and pull it all the way over to our library until we get the green around the outside of the library. We can drop it right there and scroll down, and there it is, okay? Now, in order for this to do what we want it to, we have to rename it. We can't just leave it multimedia internet CD-ROM flash sound, that's no good, so we'll right click on it and just select rename and we have to rename it to something very specific. We've already put our code in earlier in the tutorial to link this sound with the action of the bullet being shot from the plane. So we have to name it SHOOT with a capital S-H-O-O-T. Now, that's not all we have to do. We also have to ascribe a linkage to it. So we have to right click on it and scroll down here to properties. And then the properties for that sound comes up. Now, we are exporting this sound for ActionScript. So we need to click that box and make sure the identifier says shoot. Then we'll click OK and we can test out what we've got. <laughs> Okay, so our sounds work. Now you can have fun with this. You can uh, link other sounds to different things. Of course, you'll have to go back and add that linkage code uh, and make sure that you name it whatever you're gonna link it with. Um, but pretty much we're ready to go to the next step.